Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Free Plugin Weekly. Today we're checking out the free six band spreader plugin from CIS DSP Factory. One of the things I've mentioned in other videos is that I really like to play with imaging during mastering, but not just widening the entire image of a song. I like to have multi band image control. I like to spread the mids and highs while narrowing the lows. And the way I do that is using the imager with an isotope ozone, and prior to that I use the vitamin plugin from Waves. The six band spreader from CIS DSP is a decent free alternative to those plugins if you want to play around with image spreading for mastering or even on individual channels or buses. So the six band spreader is pretty easy to use. You have six spread bands, each with individual corner frequencies or crossover frequencies, whatever you want to call them. The corner frequencies can be adjusted by clicking and dragging up or down, or you can also just double click and type in whatever frequency you want. You can also spread each band from zero to 400%. Down at zero, you're effectively making the band mono, and anything higher than 100%, you're exaggerating the stereo image. You'll also notice that I have my correlation meter out. This is just to keep an eye on phase cancellation between the left and right channels of my entire mix. Sometimes if you spread too much, you can end up with a track that isn't mono compatible and ends up with major phase cancellation issues if summed down to mono. All right, so today I'm gonna to demonstrate this plugin on a track master minus vocals. I'll play back the track as is, and then I'll kick in the plugin, spread the top four bands, and narrow the lower two bands. So you can hear there's a huge difference between the before and the after. Both of them sound good. The, the original is a little more center. Um, it's got a little more center focus. It's a little more mid-rangey. Um, the six band spreader, unlike a lot of other spreaders I've used, really, really colors the tone of each of the bands. So you have to be careful how much you use it. Um, really anything over 200% is really pushing it. I rarely pull anything up uh, above maybe say 250. I've, I do have the high band up here at 264. You can usually get away with it there and it brings out the cymbals uh, nicely. But each of these upper four bands were exaggerating the image or exaggerating the width of the stereo image on each of those bands. So you just have to be careful. It does change the tone color um, and can sort of, ex almost like an exciter does, but also uh, changes the width. And sometimes you can lose focus in the center if you spread bands too much. So sometimes it helps to use a spreader, say on a mix bus, as opposed to using it on the master, because sometimes you can lose focus in your key center instruments if you spread too much, like bass guitar, kick, snare, and vocals. The six band spreader is a great free alternative to other multi-band um, spreaders out there. Does it have all the capabilities that the Ozone Imager has? No, not by a long shot. But it's a great free way to experiment with adding some stereo enhancement to your masters. Let's give that a listen one more time, the before and after, and I've uh, downplayed some of the uh, imaging in the upper bands a bit. All right, cool. So the six band spreader, again, is a free plugin from CIS DSP Factory. It's basically impossible to get this plugin directly from them anymore, but I have found a website uh, where it's still available. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video today and thanks for watching.